In this video, we're going to cover how to generate a PRT file, also known as a problem report tool file, on a 3PCC phone. This is a very critical item to be generated when you're troubleshooting telephony related issues and you're working with a Cisco partner and or Cisco technical support directly. Um, you definitely want to go ahead and preemptively generate this file and also document when the specific issue occurred as far as the timestamps. Okay, we're inside of WebEx Control Hub. We're going to go ahead and go to the Devices section. And then in the Devices section, we will go ahead and take a look at the phone. We want to enable the web interface. And the reason we want to enable the interface on this phone is to be able to generate a PRT file. So basically, right now we're inside of devices. We've selected the phone. Um, I've actually clicked one more time. It opens up this ad additional section where it gives us the option for the device user settings. I'm going to click on device settings. OK, on device settings. We're going to actually go down a page here, a tad. And when we get to the section where it talks about default logging level, we want to go ahead and set this to debugging. And then down the page a tad more, we're going to have an option for MPP web access. We're going to go ahead and enable this. And then we're going to click on save. And uh, this will go ahead and apply the settings to the phone uh, when the phone resyncs. Uh, so you may need to give it a little bit of time here. And uh, then we'll go ahead and take a look at the phone itself um, as far as enabling or generating the PRT from the phone itself. Okay, we're going to go ahead and access the phone right now via web browser. Uh, one thing to note is we do need to actually type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of the phone. In this case, it's a dot 27 within a 192.168.1 subnet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click advanced here. We're going to proceed to that IP address. And uh, one thing to note is um, when a phone is registered to WebEx calling, you do not have admin access. Um, when you enable the web GUI interface like we did a few moments ago via WebEx Control Hub, we do have user level access. So here what we want to do is we want to go into the Debug Info tab and we want to go ahead and click Generate PRT. And um, typically, we want to also identify what type of problem we may be having. Uh, PRTs are typically generated when you're working either with a partner like a Cisco partner troubleshooting some type of telephony issue or your contact to Cisco directly tech support and again you're troubleshooting type of, some type of telephony issue. So in any case you, you would want to select what item most closely resembles whatever issue you have. In this case, we don't have any specific issue. Uh, we're just showing what the workflow looks like. I'm just going to select other. I'm going to hit submit. And then we're going to wait here a little bit until the phone itself generates the PRT file. OK, the phone has completed generating the PRT file. Um, also, one thing to notice says your data has been uploaded. Um, it does upload the PRT file also for diagnostics if you're working with Cisco technical support. Um, however, the data that's uploaded, uh, there's a lot of information that's uh, um, scrambled, if you will. So the diagnostics may be limited. So you definitely want to download the local PRT file because it actually has um, all of the information that's needed from a troubleshooting standpoint as far as source, destination IP addresses, different types of identifier if we're troubleshooting SIP uh, sessions or packets, if you will, uh, different transactions. So 
that's one thing to note. So basically now that we've generated the PRT file, which is compressed, we want to go ahead and download it. And basically this is the file you'd want to share either with a Cisco partner if you're troubleshooting uh, with a uh, certified Cisco partner, telephony related, or if you're working directly with Cisco tech support, this is the file you want to go ahead and include or send to them as you are working on the case. The other thing also you want to make sure is if the issue occurred at a specific time, you want to make sure you document the timestamp when the issue specifically occurred and also what time zone you're located. Because when, one of the key items is um, when tech support is analyzing the actual PRT files, um, it really uh, helps quite a bit if they can um, focus on specific time segments of the file when you notice the issue occurring. If it occurred once, um, specify what time it, it occurred. If it occurred multiple times, again, specify what time it occurred. And um, again, uh, this is something uh, to leverage if you are running into issues. Um, the Cisco 3 PCC phones have this PRT capability. Uh, the reason this PRT is very critical is, um, as you're probably aware, most of the traffic nowadays is encrypted. And without being able to generate the PRT file, um, even if you did a Wireshark, for example, if you were doing a port mirror on a switch um, and you were capturing packets, which you would notice pretty much is all of the packets from a telephony standpoint is all um, TLS or HTTPS encrypted. So you really can't see anything in the payload. So again, the PRT file is used for diagnostics of the Cisco 3 PCC phone. Uh, definitely go ahead and generate that when you run into issue uh, when working with a Cisco partner and or Cisco tech support directly and hopefully that's going to help the uh, troubleshooting efforts go much much quicker. Thank you for watching the video and um, hopefully your troubleshooting activities uh, are more effective uh, with this information. Thank you. Bye.